girl no marry the guy first. I say yet. I do not say don't marry him forever. Don't marry him yet. You travel abroad. You have your papers, right? Then you apply for him to come and join you as your husband. Dr. Linda Iheme, all right? And I'm an educational consultant with Vantage Migration. Yay! <laughs> okay, so um, myself and my team, we train graduates and professionals who want to relocate abroad on how to do that successfully all by themselves. Yay! You know, it's important that you're watching me today because what has been happening is I've been coming across a lot of people that um, they don't, how do I put it? It's like, it's like they fear getting trained, but yet they jump into hot water all the time. <laughs> they fear getting trained, yet they jump into hot water all the time. You know, um, yeah, I, I really decided to make this video because it, it just breaks my heart whenever I see it. And I'm just going to be telling you or something that happened. It, it broke my heart. You know, someone has chatted me up uh, saying that um, the boyfriend got 10 years visa ban. You know, uh, the boyfriend applied to UK, got 10 years visa ban. This happened last month. Like, they applied last month, I think, and the, the decision came this month. You know? And, like, first of all, and the person was like, eh, so I want to now refer my boyfriend to vantage migration so that you people can help the best uh, help him i just laughed in my mind i hope that she's watching this i will be i'll be so blessed and happy that if she's watching this because i actually want that of course i have to be professional in my reply right but in my heart right it broke my heart i'm like hey yeah girl your boyfriend don't don't scatter your dream you don't also scatter your own dream can you believe it Boyfriend get 10 years ban. You, uh, let me tell you the advice I gave the girl. First of all, don't marry your boyfriend until you have relocated. You see? You see? Don't marry your boyfriend until you have relocated. Why? The moment you marry him and he's now your husband, and you submit your visa application, even if he's not going with you, you're still going to put the name of your husband, right? As a lady applying. The moment you put the, the name of the husband as that name, and then he comes up in search that he has a 10 year visa, but the get to go collect. Uh, how do you say it in Nigeria? Woto woto adi woto woto. Oh, you're telling me the real thing. Type it. The get go collect woto woto. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. And somebody may think that I'm here making jest of them. Oh, far from it. I wish I, I wish I, I am so less busy. That, that is what I want to talk about. I, will, I wish I'm so less busy. I, I don't have time for such nonsense. <laughs> woto woto, you know, I, <laughs> the girlfriend will call her woto woto. If she go and get married to the man, put her, his name as, as, uh, as the husband. Once he comes up in search, she too, she go call her woto woto. So first advice, girl, no marry the guy first. I say yet. I do not say don't marry him forever. Don't marry him yet. You travel abroad, you have your papers, right? Then you apply for him to come and join you as your husband so that anything that is happening at that stage is never going to affect the lady. Do you know that that singular mistake can be the reason this relationship will not work? Do you know? Some people, you don't know the impact of the things that you do in life. You don't know. This, that singular, this singular mistake... This singular mistake can be the reason that relationship will not hold. Because now the man too is going to say, ah, you want to travel and leave me? We're supposed to go together. The girl is going to say, my, my life is at stake. I can't marry you yet. But before you know it, water pass, gari, gari, come pass water, everything turned to ember. Do you understand? Do you understand? So, first of all, relationship is in jeopardy because of visa matters. So the girlfriend came to me and said, I want to refer my boyfriend to you. First, I just laughed. Like, 
Your boyfriend after three years, Vista, but I've been no referral and come my side. Do you understand? No refer and come my side. This is no wickedness. This is being smart. No refer and come to my First of all, it's late. It's too late. What do you want us to do at this point with a 10 year visa bag? You just destroyed your life. If you are 33 and you get a 10 year visa bag, you'll be 43. Before 43, you have changed your vision in life. The question is, why did somebody have to wait for you to get to this estate before they came, uh, before they start coming to us? You know what pained me most? Let me tell you what pained me most now. I just wish the lady is also watching this video or we eventually see this video because I want her to know what pained me most. Those things, I couldn't really tell her because it's like, you can't beat her too much. You know what I mean? Like somebody is already in deep shit. Somebody is already in deep shit, so you can't make them feel worse. Okay. But who pain me most? So I don't ask, I say, how long have you been following me? Ah, since this year, aka six months, five months to six months, Abby. Okay. When did your boyfriend do this application? Last month. Hmm. 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 You want to refer him to us now that he has gotten 10 year visa ban. You could not refer your boyfriend to us before he destroyed your future and his future. You could not refer him to us. You waited until adult who there. Hey, if he's a child, you just spank the child. You understand what I mean? Hey, adult who. You waited until your boyfriend destroyed his life and destroyed yours before you decided that you know what? You're going to refer, refer him to us. But you've been following us before now. Why didn't you refer him? You could have saved your relationship, saved your marriage, saved your future. Save everything before he got to this stage. You had that opportunity. You know why I decided to come on to talk about it? Because I know that some ladies are in that shoe right now. Your boyfriend is doing like this, doing like this. He wants to go and collect Woto Woto. You two, you want to join him to collect Woto Woto. Both of you want to collect Woto Woto before you go and look for Dr. Linda. I am done cleaning people's mess in case. This thing, this video, na rant last, last. Na rant. I am done cleaning people's mess. You can't collect ban right now. I I don't want to talk swear now, but you know what they talk. I will not add my one my my one percent effort. I won't add it. You go collect that water, water you go bath you where where. Some people are watching me right now, and let me tell you, they are still going to enter this lady's shoe before they will have common sense. They are still going to collect denial before they will have common sense. They are still going to collect ban. Before they will have come on as a trader, please. So, uh, nonsense. Nonsense. You know my domot since you know come. Until you collect a year ban. You not start. I know you are, you are, you are legit. You are, you can, you are very big people. You know not that one before your boyfriend submitted the visa. You know not that one. Let me not tell you the saga of the story. Let me tell you the saga of the story. The saga of the story now said, Hey! It was the bro brother of my boyfriend who actually lives abroad that did everything. A la la. Share the token. See, it does not mean that the moment you enter a aeroplane, land in Toronto Airport, or Heathrow Airport in UK, or Atlanta Airport in US, somebody will come sit down, come just you are abroad, they work. Don't be like that, they work. Oh. No, be like that in the work. So, don't mistake it to be that the, the, because somebody is abroad, aka they should know everything you need to do in order to get your visa. It doesn't work that way. It's not always the case. It's not always the case. So, it was even more sad for me to hear that the person that assisted with doing this thing is already up, he, 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 in the same UK. Then, you opened your eyes very well you opened your eyes very well your your brother now went to go and collect 10 year ban you opened your eyes very very well i don't want to address that person no i don't want to address that person no they go talk say the they don't talk i don't want to address that person because right now i don't even know whether the person did it because they don't know what to do or they did it because or they did it because they don't want their brother to join them. I don't want to talk. I don't want, I don't I don't I don't want to address the case so because since I don't I don't have all the information and I've not heard from that particular person.
Because some people say, I told him to do this, but he went to go and do this. It's also a possibility, right? So let me just leave that one. Let me address the one that is very much in front of all of us. That a girlfriend has been following me for months. But still allow the boyfriend to go and get 10 year visa ban before she's not thinking of sending the boyfriend to us. Both of them don't call her woto woto. Why? Because, let me tell you, the girlfriend may think that she's not affected yet. She's already affected. Because by the time you have to post your marriage plan until you yourself you have traveled and possibly gotten some legit papers before you start getting married to somebody. And even the guy too, we now know that the reason you're trying to say no to his proposal right now is because of, you think he's going to, before you know everything will scatter. So, your relationship is at stake right now, right now. Is it worth it? How much were you trying to save? How much were you trying to save? As I talk up, na rant, I can't rant. Na rant, I can't rant because this thing is breaking my heart. But... It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Anyways, I hope you... The, the summary of it is, I hope you don't make the same mistake. I hope. I hope. I very much hope. Do not make the same mistake. Don't allow somebody beside you to make the same mistake. Yeah? I don't know what else to say. It's a sad situation. Let's observe one minute silence for the situation. <laughs> 